Perfect, perfect. I needed to see you anyway. Look, two weeks ago against A&M, you all as an offensive line group, you played one of your better games, but it's not good enough. Not for Georgia. That's one of the best defenses in the country. You've seen nothing like Georgia. No, head up, head up. Look, not all is lost here, okay? You have an opportunity for a big statement. You don't need it from me, though. Somebody much higher up than me would like a couple of words with you. Step into Coach Chizik's office. I'll see you when you're done. Good luck. No, no, no. Come over here. Come over here. We need a heart to heart because there's some things that I'm not satisfied with, and I want to make sure we're very clear. When we talked about the beginning of this football season, way back after the Outback Bowl, we talked about the offensive line being a catalyst for us going back to the SEC championship game. Did we not? Did we not have that conversation? Well, it's not happening. And I'm just being up front with you right now. I don't know any other way to put it. It's not happening. Starting with you, get your eyes up. Starting with you and everybody across the offensive line. We came into this season, we had four out of five starters back. We expected to be physical. We expected to dominate the line of scrimmage. We expected to be the catalyst for a run game that's 50-50. How do we rush for 11 yards against Michigan but 242 yards against A&M. Too many inconsistencies. And that starts with you. You're the leader of the group. Did we not have this discussion? You and I had it. You said, Coach, this is going to be the best year we've had. It's not. It's not the best year we've had. Get your eyes up. That's part of the problem. Own it. We got a chance this week with Georgia coming in to shock the world. You played better against A&M. But why am I still even in the A&M game? Let's go back to the LSU game. The, only, the last two SEC games we played, why do I have linebackers running clean through the gap and hitting running backs for two-yard losses? Why on 200-year-old protections does a tackle in twist hit the quarterback? We got a freshman quarterback back there. He's on the run for his life. That's the offensive line. Why is this happening still? See, because you got to be the leader. Because I don't like what's happening. I know you guys are better than that. This is not a talent thing. This is a focus issue. This is a physicality. Get your eyes up. It's a physicality issue. Where do you go into games walking out on the field saying, I'm going to dominate my opponent? Why is that not the feel I get? Because I promise you, that's how Georgia's seeing you right now. They've watched your film. They are licking their chops. Why are we pass protecting with our eyes down? A guy beats us on an in and out move. Hey, look, big boy, I'm going to ask you one question. It's going to sum it up. Would you follow you? Because right now I wouldn't either, but you can change that, and there's time. So what I'm asking you to do is go meet with everybody on the offensive line. And y'all get it together. No coaches, no nobody. Just you guys. Because we can dominate this football game if you will change your edge and your attitude. And on Sunday when I watch the film, I want people to be calling this at the University of Florida, O-line you. And then I'll know that you got this message. Are we clear? Go pass it on. Goodbye. Come on up. He loves you all. He needs you all. It's the biggest game of the season. You beat Georgia. You're back on the, on the radar. Everybody's paying attention to Florida football. That's what he's trying to get across to you. Now i got to go find out if Doring, a Florida Gator, thinks enough of you to actually pick you against third-ranked Georgia.